Scorpio cross-referenced all the data Havoc Squad and Kaleo stole from Zakul. When we compared the enemy's comm logs to the Spire maps, we found something unexpected. There's a hyperwave relay station hidden 10,000 meters beneath the Spire. It's the only source of Gemini frequency transmissions to and from the Eternal Throne. That's how Arkhan commands the fleet, and we know where it is. That relay station is our key to the Gemini frequency. If we can decrypt it, we'll eavesdrop on the enemy and learn his plans. We have a map, all we need is a route. You'll never get near that relay station. It's 10 kilometers underground and defended by more safeguards than we can count. Well, it's a good thing our data reveals every security measure in the way, and how to defeat them. A strike team can disable the defenses right under Arkan's nose, but only if we send it in now. Our intel's turning stale as we speak. Kaleo and Major Jorgen are already on Zakul. They're in position to clear the commander a path directly to the relay station. We are not sending that terrorist. She's done enough to my world. Senya's right. Can't believe I had to say that. Avic Squad was made for this op. We have enough detonite to turn that relay station into a crater. Cut the head off the serpent. Throw the fleet into chaos. You're trusting the fate of the galaxy to a gang of grenade-happy bucketheads? We're only getting one shot at this. Lucky for you, one shot is all I need. Oh, is that what you tell all your victims? Destroying that relay station is a bonehead play. Send me, and you'll control the Gemini frequency. The idea has potential, and she's an experienced infiltrator who survived on Zakul for years. She bombed my people. Never again. This alliance will never win if we can't function as a team. I need all of you to pull together and do what's necessary. It's not that simple. We need to draw Arkin's attention away from our true goal. That means creating a diversion. They're both accomplished at drawing attention. The real question is, who do you want with you at the relay station? If we can't take control of the Gemini frequency, we'll have to destroy it. Havoc Squad has the firepower for that job. Without me there to slice that relay station, Major Malfunction's suicide run will be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Give me a chance. We need a perfect diversion, and you're the best around. Just keep it clean. No civilians, got it? What about pets? Kidding. See you at the rendezvous, Commander. If Kaleo's idea of a distraction results in harm to my people, I'll kill her myself. And I'll help. You can't please everyone. But it may be prudent to consult Valkorion. He built the Spire. He may tell you how to invade it. Valkorion, we need to talk. You once claimed the mantle of my wrath. Now look at you, begging for my scraps. Time and again, you reject my aid. Why would I trust you with secrets you have not earned? You saw that mission briefing. You know what's at stake. I am not your servant. And you have trifled with my patience for the last time.
Theron, it's me. Something's wrong. I need backup. Your friends cannot hear you. You brought me here. Why? Sometimes, evolution requires a push or a sacrifice. You have forgotten what it means to face death alone. I will remind you. A path has been laid before you, but you refuse to tread upon it. That will change. Can you sense the predators closing in? They smell your weakness. They would feast on it. destiny to fulfill. I am tired of being disappointed by your lack of progress. My son blindsided me because I allowed it, but you were weak. My son struck a killing blow against you. Had I not interfered, you would be dead. Perhaps I should have let you go then.
galaxy is finally united under a single banner. It should have been yours. Despite your precious warship, a legion of allies, and my immense power at your disposal, you remain incomplete. You have mastered the dark side of the Force. It is not enough. It never was. Until you embrace your full potential, you will only be a pawn of fate, never its master. I follow my own path, Valkorion, not yours. You truly believe that? How pathetic. The future is not a river to carry us. It is the ocean in which we drown if we are not prepared. You have two destinies, Outlander. In one, you defeat Arkham, claim the Eternal Throne, and remake the galaxy. In the other, you die alone, unmourned and forgotten. I brought you here to taste that defeat. Anything. You have no idea what I'm capable of. And neither do you. Therein lies the problem. This was a fraction of the pain my children can inflict. If you do not finish your training, become something greater. You will feel the full weight of their rage. You keep saying I have to become more than I am. But you never explain what that means. You demand a simple answer, refusing to look for it within. That is the essence of your failure. I cannot stay to protect you any longer. 
There are matters to which I must attend, but I will leave you with a final token of my favor. Fulfill your destiny, and I promise to return. You can exist outside my head. Where are you going, and why? It is pointless to explain. You will understand when the time comes. Cheer up, big brother. You're making me sad. Father won't face me himself. He's punishing you for stealing his chair. He isn't angry. Father never feels anything. Not even when I... When Vexen died. He was a good brother. Brought me gifts from all the worlds he conquered. I freed you from Father's control. I hope that earned your... support. My loyalties lie here, Arkan. Always. Now what? It means death to disbelievers. It means the end of our corrupt society. It means great happiness for all. You understand much, but do you know what will become of you, your family? We give ourselves to Zildrog's glory so that the wicked may be punished. We die so that Zakul may live on. Good. You are on your way. In Zildrog's name. In Zildrog's name.
For millennia, Jedi and Sith archived their knowledge in holocrons. These legacies preserved the wisdom of great minds. The focus was often on exploring mysteries of the Force, not the practical matters of government. After all, Jedi do not seek to lead, and it is in the nature of Sith to force their wills upon others. But a few sought to understand what it truly means to lead a civilization. These are their teachings. Stand down and face justice! I've waited for you a long time. Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Shan. When Valkorion told me to finish my training, he meant with you. You're asking the wrong person. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. I was brought here against my will. People are counting on me for help. I have to go. People are always counting on you. They won't stop just because you aren't there. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessan for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. 
We've been here for years, waiting. We? Is there someone else here? In the Force, we are never alone. We sensed your awakening on Zakul. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. I don't think your son would appreciate it if you killed me. We didn't save you to spare Theron's feelings. We felt something we'd lost for a long time. Hope. Valkorion strengthened your bond to the Force. You may be the greatest of us all, but your old training couldn't prepare you for what's to come. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them. There is no greater challenge than to change from within. But that is what we all must do to survive. The most powerful among us couldn't stand against the endless legions of Zakul. Even the Sith Empire learned that lesson too late. On countless worlds, I watched Jedi sacrifice themselves to delay inevitable defeat. We will not let you meet their fate. I went to Zakul in secret to see the Eternal Throne myself. I still bear the scars of that journey.
On Odessa, light and dark exist in perfect balance, forming a nexus in the Force. There is another world like it, Zakul. Arkan and his knights learned to use the Force in a different way from Jedi and Sith. It's why we couldn't truly defeat them. I faced plenty of warriors from Zakul. They fell, the same as everyone else. Don't confuse them with Arkan. And his sister is another problem entirely. Jedi approach the Force as a companion, and Sith try to enslave it. But Arkan's knights believe the Force is their reward for serving an ideal. They swear their lives to the Eternal Emperor. The more they honor his commandments, the greater their power. The knights obey their master without question, sacrificing everything for his triumph. Devotion makes them strong. You must become stronger. I thought only Sith cared about being the most powerful. You sound like Valkorion. We are nothing like that man. Darth Maul. Valkorion destroyed my flesh, but not my reason for being. You never cared about becoming immortal, but I guess dying changes everything. Denying the Void's embrace taxes me, but I will not leave our empire undefended. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again, but only one in all the galaxy was my equal. We met on this world. We argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. If Jedi and Sith have found a way to work together, I want to know how. No one is more surprised than I am to be here in this moment. But I trust the will of the Force. We do not offer empty platitudes. We do not promise easy victory all we ask is that you listen with an open mind and learn from our failures to forge the future you must first break with the past victory over Arkan requires new perspectives and new weapons follow the will of the force into the wilderness beyond this camp find what we left for you and meet us in the cave Arkan won't be conquered through passion or righteousness. He has emptied himself of weaknesses, like sentiment and morality.
Your enemy stole his empire through deceit and murder. He's accustomed to the dark. You must strike where he's blind. From within. It will not be enough to defeat Arkin. His eternal throne and the fleeted commands are the greatest threats our galaxy has ever faced. The force is in motion, and we must follow. The old ways aren't enough. We'll show you the new way.
dismiss the Jedi Code. I was wrong. There is no death. There is only the Force. And it has a plan. The will of the Force is a flowing current. You can follow or fight it. But it is always there. I have a future, Valen, but you don't. Just the way I like it. I fought Arkan's sister. Valen was right here. No. That was merely a warning. A vision. A bond to the Force as intense as yours brings with it powerful insight. Heed what you saw. Behind Arkan stands Valen. And behind her, many others. They will all try to stop you. The weapon you wield was built for a different war. A different enemy. It no longer serves you. It must change, as you have. You want me to build a new lightsaber? You will create a pure extension of the Force's will. One you alone control. With it, you can unite a thousand stars. We offer to add our strength to yours, but you must be the guiding hand. Focus the power, and decide what form it takes. I'm ready when you are. The 
there's no defeat I can't overcome. It's done. That blade is part of you now. The next time you face Arkin in battle, he will not be ready for you. But violence can only destroy. It doesn't inspire others to greatness, and it can never rebuild. Only a leader can do that. I once thought it enough to be the unstoppable force between my people and the enemy. I faced Valkorion and refused to bend. That choice broke me and doomed the worlds I sought to defend. I sent Jedi to fight an enemy I didn't understand because I believed in the justness of my cause. Those deaths still haunt me. We know what it means to fail those who counted on us. We would spare you that pain. It's better for me to learn from your mistakes than repeat them. As the Wrath, you are always forced to stand alone. You planned and executed without regard for others. Leading this alliance is unlike anything you have done before. Directing the war effort is a mere fraction of the burden you must bear. You must not only know when to fight, but when to retreat, or even to make peace with your foe. There is an oasis not far from this cave. Your final lesson waits there. Forget what your old masters taught you. Not even Valkorion understands. The Force is not an ally, slave, or transaction. is a paradox. It empowers and imprisons. It destroys and unites. It binds the galaxy together and tears people apart. It has a will, but needs a commander.
You killed her children. She will devour you as revenge. What hope do you have to escape such raw fury? Escape isn't always possible. If you accept that death has power over you, it stops being your enemy and becomes an ally. When that happens, you don't have to fight. You created peace from a violent confrontation. Impressive. Some believe you are destined to walk this path. Others think you make the choices that decide their fates. Your alliance will collapse if you do not know yourself and the ideal you serve. Do you understand? Whatever fate has in store for me and the Alliance, I'm ready. Your way is clear, and so is ours. Do you feel it, Mar? The Force draws us elsewhere. The exile on Odyssey is over. A new path has opened thanks to you. Our duty is to follow it. Nothing's more important than staying to help me defeat Arkhan. Our time has passed. This is your war to fight. Trust in the path ahead. The Alliance awaits its commander. Farewell. Recon team gave the all clear. We're entering sub-level 4. 5x5, five five, Major. Transmitting optimal path to the next security checkpoint. Try not to shoot everything this time. There are only so many storage lockers to put Sky Troopers in. Well, that's half the challenge. What kind of Sith are you? I've identified the Hyperwave Relay Station's weak points. Demolition charges at each one will maximize the blast radius. You want to destroy our best chance to take control of the Eternal Fleet? Unbelievable. I feel my IQ dropping just hearing you talk. Maybe you'll forget how to breathe. Your mission's complete. Get off this channel. And my planet. Enough. Havoc Squad needs radio silence to do its job. Where the blazes have you been? Valkorion dragged me into the wilderness and almost killed me. Then he left my mind to go... somewhere else, he wouldn't say. I found Satil Shan with the spirit of Darth Maar. They helped me build a new lightsaber to defeat Arkhan. They're a team now, following the will of the Force. That's an awful lie. It must be true. Hold up, we've got trouble. A dozen knights coming up behind us. Someone found your mess on level 19. If that was true, there'd be twice as many. Major? Major, come in. We've lost the signal. We could salvage the mission if we send our backup. She isn't backup. She's collateral damage. Hold on, Senya. The knights might kill her for us. I'd rather ask forgiveness than permission, but I don't need either of them. I'm halfway through level 10. Consider the mission complete. I'm giving you a direct order. Stay where you are until I say otherwise. I'm sorry, your signal's breaking up. It does that when I switch off the holocom. Wish me luck.